Welcome to People in Perspective. I'm Rosie Nolan, and my guest for this edition is actress Ryan Simpkins. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's talk about um, how you got into acting. So, like, what was your first job? My first job was this, um, I, well, I did a lot of, like, commercials and modeling when I was really little, but my first, like, actual thing was um, this Hallmark movie called Fallen Angel, and I played the young version of some character, so I was barely in the movie, but it filmed in Canada for, like, a week or two, and it was really fun. Oh, that's cool. How old were you? Um, like, two or three. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> so, like, what, what kind of uh, commercials did you do? Um, you know, toy commercials, diapers, oh, anything like that. Oh, yeah, totally fun. That's fun. <laughs> so, um, what have been, like, your favorite jobs so far in your career? Um, well, I've done a couple period pieces. Like, I was in a film called Revolutionary Road. I was in a film called A Single Man. And they both took place, like, um, the 50s. And a single man, Tom Ford directed, and he's like, you know, a big designer. Mm -hmm. So he designed all of our clothes, like every single outfit we wore, he designed. So I had this handmade dress. I had a few handmade dresses that he designed personally, and they were just so cool. And like, they were amazing. And they're all these period pieces. So those were definitely really fun. And the thing I'm filming right now in Chicago, like it's the most fun I've ever had probably on a set. Like the cast and crew, they're just amazing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we're all just a bunch of little kids doing, like, you know, goofing around. So oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's fun. So, um, talk about, like, what has been, like, the biggest uh, show that you've done, or movie that you've done? Um, like, what do you think has been, like, the biggest success? The biggest success? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about me. My little brother was in Iron Man 3 last summer, and, you know, it's huge. Mm -hmm. So that was definitely something. Um, Revolutionary Road was pretty big. And because I played Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet's daughter with yeah. my little brother. He, was, he played my brother because who else? <laughs> I mean, they're going to hire some other actor who's young <laughs> and <laughs> looks like you. Exactly. Um, so what's it like on set, like on the movie that you're on now and other, other sets that you've been on? Um, it's pretty great. Like it, I don't know. It's like everyone's just trying to do their best and like, bring their A game to the film. Um, mm -hmm. So sometimes it can be a bit stressful and everyone just can be kind of hectic, but on this one that I'm doing right now, everyone's doing more than their best and they're trying really hard, but they're all like keeping smiles on their faces and just having a good time. So it definitely depends on the film. But oh, well that's nice. Yeah. So like the one that you're in right now, that's an independent film, right? Mm -hmm. It's an independent film called Anguish. All right, that's awesome. And what's it, what's it about? like? Um, I don't know how much I can say, but it's about this girl, me, her name is Tess, and um, she's been diagnosed with um, all these different things her whole life, and they basically think she's crazy, and then they start to wonder, maybe she's not just crazy, maybe there's something more, and then horror movie ensues. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> so, um, on set, you have to, like, do uh, school and stuff, too. How do you, like, what, what's that like? Um, they, every, because I've, most of the movies I've done, they've, I, they've filmed during, um, during, like, the school year. So what they do is they hire a set tutor, or sometimes more than one, to come on set, and, um, my teachers will email me, or send me, like, snail mail, mm -hmm. um, my work that they're doing in school right now, and my tests and everything, and, um, my set, my set teacher, my studio teacher, will help me get through it all, and, like, help me organize and learn. Um, so yeah, it's, it can be a bit hard. Um, depending on how much work I have to do on camera and we have mm -hmm. to get or we try to get at least three hours of school done every day mm -hmm. but um, yeah it, we get it done. <laughs> Good and so like when you come back to school after filming a movie um, when you get back have you like missed anything do you feel like you're behind? Sometimes I filmed well my little brother filmed but I had to go along in Pittsburgh for three months once oh, geez. at the beginning of sixth grade yeah and so I in some subjects, I was super ahead, like English, I was way ahead of everyone else. Mm -hmm. But then there were other subjects like science and I was totally behind. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a lot of work catching up, but you always get through it anyways. Yeah, that's good. Um, so what's it like living in LA? Like, is it different from your experience here in Chicago? It's definitely different just because in LA, well, in Chicago, in the city at least, everybody's always walking places and like, you don't, I mean, you need a car to get around, sure, but everyone's always walking, and I feel like people are a lot friendlier, and in LA, everyone feels very, like, 
closed off and they're all driving around in their cars and if you see someone walking in LA like it's not weird but it's just kind of like there are very few people doing it mm -hmm. um, it's the same thing with New York like everyone's always walking instead and you like have to have a car to get around LA uh -huh. and it's like snowing today and it yeah yeah which was crazy get, coming over here I was like oh my god it's snowing uh -huh. um, but yeah so it's nice it's definitely nice and there's a, a lot of diversity in mm -hmm. LA and so yeah, it's a good place to grow up, I'd Yeah, say. I've never been to L.A., but I've had people come from L.A., and they're like, it's snowing? What's, what's <laughs> this? I've never seen snow. Um, so when you travel for jobs, like, how often do you do that, and what's it like? Um, well, a lot of films that I've done, like, I moved out to, L to L.A. in the first place because I got a movie in L.A., and we just decided to stay. Um, but a lot of the films I've done have taken, not necessarily taken place in L.A., but filmed in L.A., just because it's got a lot of diversity and you would never know like I did this one movie um, and it was like it took place all across America and it was like a road trip mm -hmm. and we filmed it all in LA in different locations Jeez. in this one city yeah so it was insane but then there are other times like we're filming in Chicago right now I think because the director um, I think we're filming it here because the director grew up here and so he just knows the neighborhood um, very well and he like knows people and he wanted like that sense of home I think mm -hmm. Um, and so that's why we're filming out here, but it really depends on, like, who's in charge and, like, locations and everything and what you want it to look like, so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And so you just kind of are used to, like, traveling for films and stuff, yeah. and you just kind of just go with it almost. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, so have you had any weird set experiences on this set or, like, any other set? Um, this set, I'm, well, okay, so a few weeks ago, it was, like, probably our first week of filming. We were um, at this location and we were staying in this inn. Like we had rented this little hotel bread and breakfast place. Mm -hmm. Just like there was like three rooms and we were um, just staying in there. So we would go from, from there to set and like all of our production stuff was in there. Um, and it was time for lunch and Derek, the second AD was like, okay, hey, uh, it's time for lunch. We're gonna go across the street to go where catering is. And my mom was like, wait, let's go the back way. It'll be more fun. So we walked out the door and there was like this porch. We walked down the stairs and it was a huge courtyard. And the courtyard, there were like 12 feet walls all, over, all around us. And we thought we'd be able to like get out this little alley and just like go through a straight shortcut to where catering was. Um, but we went to that alley and it was blocked off by stairs. But in between each step, there was like a small little gap. And um, I looked at the gap and I was like, yeah, I could fit through there. And mm -hmm. Derek was like, yeah, I could probably fit through there because Derek is like, super tall but he's also incredibly skinny mm -hmm. so my older brother was like yeah I could fit through there so my older brother tried to get through there but he couldn't at all so me and Derek made it like a personal challenge to try to get through the steps so we spent like 20 minutes trying to crawl through the steps <laughs> um, and we finally did I we spilt hot chocolate all over my wardrobe which was bad almost broke Derek's computer I think I put a hole in Derek's shirt trying to squeeze him through the stairs Jeez. <laughs> yeah um, but it was really fun we laughed about it for the whole rest of the day oh, and that's fun yeah even yesterday we were um we were doing this one thing and we had to make like these swings in the playground move and so the art department tied um they got fishing line and they mm -hmm. tied it they tied the fishing line to each uh, separate swing and they got everyone they could like the pa is hair and makeup wardrobe um just anyone they could in the crew to pull the fishing line to mm -hmm. make it look like the swings were moving by themselves and um, it was probably the dorkiest thing I've ever seen. Just everyone like trying to make these swings look haunted. Oh, and that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that sounds like, it sounds fun to be on sets like that. Oh yeah. I've never, I mean like, I've never really done anything like that, but it sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so you've done like stage productions also. So what's it, like what's the difference between stage versus film? Um, stage, I feel like you get a bigger sense of community faster. Like in film, you end up being a family as well, but it takes a while. And I feel like stage, as soon as you do your first show, you're all like super, super close. Mm -hmm. um, and acting on stage, you have to be a bit bigger because you know you can't really have a close up on stage. Yeah. So you have to project more and you have to make your emotions like bigger and not necessarily fake, but you know, kind of more fake, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and it's it's, on stage you're immediately getting the reactions like so you immediately know what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong and in film you have no idea you just have to trust yourself and the people around you mm -hmm. instead of having an audience right there to tell you like if you're actually funny or not oh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Um, all right, so thank you so much for being on the show. It was really great um, talking to you about this. Uh, I'm Rosie Nolan. See you next time on People in Perspective.